Welcome to the Off Season Radio Show. I'm your host Charles Fisher, joined with Connor Bradsby's and Nate Nate DeLibero. Uh And behind the camera, we have the amazing Liam Gianelli. Today, we'll be talking about the NFC East. Let's start with the Giants, Connor. So I think the Giants are going to have an okay season this year. They have a really strong defense, especially on that defensive line with people like uh, Dexter Lawrence. Uh, T- Kayvon Thibodeau, Aziz Ojolari, those are some big names. I think they're going to be a really great defense, but what they lack is offensive weapons. And especially with the, all the drama currently with the Saquon deal, I think that that's where they're going to struggle. They're not going to be able to put up the same amount of points as the other teams. I'm going to look at the secondary. Big struggle last year. You saw some like Nick McLeod, some guys with like no namers playing in the secondary. I don't know. I don't know how much better it's going to be this year, but you see, first round pick Deontay Banks, the corner out of Maryland, will be in there. Uh, new safety Bobby McCain should be a strong safety to replace Julian Love. The state, this secondary should be a little bit better. And then look at the linebacking core. For the last few years, Giants have lacked that true off ball linebacker that can go sideline to sideline. They had Blake Blake, Blake Martinez. But now, with Bobby Okereke coming over from Indianapolis, he should be that guy that they've been looking for for a while, 100-something tackles, maybe 140, can rush the passer, can cover well. He'll be very good for them. Yeah, I think the Giants will be all right, but I want to talk about the Commanders. I think they, they're a sneaky pick to win this division. I think the Eagles, wow. the, Eagles, the Eagles have it, but I think the Commanders are right there. I think the Commanders are right there. Sam Howell, I believe, is going to take a big jump. I really like what I've seen him, seen in him as a quarterback. He shows maturity, he shows poise, and he has a good arm. And I like Terry McLaurin. He has great weapons. Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson, Antonio Gibson out the backfield. He has running backs who can catch. J.D. McKissick, he can catch out the backfield and break it open for some yards. I like Terry McLaurin. I think he can have a 1,500-yard receiving season. See, my thing with, with the commander, I like the receivers, Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson, Penn State Beast. Uh, my biggest problem, I look at the quarterback, Sam Howell, going to be his first year starting. Started week, week 18, a season ago. Had a good debut. And then Carson Wentz is now gone. Um, so is Tyler Heineke. He's in, now in Atlanta. But if he can take that step, I can see where uh, Charles has the idea where they can win the division. I just think after the Eagles and Cowboys seasons a year ago and the Giants having a pretty good year a year ago, I just can't see a world where they win the division. But I could see a solid year for that defense, Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, Kendall Fuller, guys that can, guys that can play. Chase Young. Yeah, Chase Young coming back off the ACL injury. They have names. Regardless, they're ma- regardless they're making the playoffs. If they're top three, they're making the playoffs. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm confident. Sam they're- Howell, they trusted him for a reason. Mm-hmm. They could have brought back Taylor Heineke. Taylor Heineke can excel as a quarterback. He's, he's, shown his, he's shown his moments. He's been able to lead this team to some decent seasons over the past couple of years. But they're all in on Sam Howell, and that's for a reason. I think he can lead them to the promised land. I don't think they have the same offense, offensive capabilities as the teams like the Eagles and the Cowboys do. I mean, the, let's talk about the Cowboys for a second. They have CeeDee Lamb, Tony Pollard, Dak Prescott. I think that's going to be a really powerful three, and I think I might have them as my favorite, Stephen, win the division this year. My only concern about the Cowboys is going to be Dak Prescott and also the tight end position. We've seen in the last few years, Dalton Schultz has been a huge playmaker for them. Guy that when Dak needs a touchdown, he looks to Lamb, he looks to Gallup, and he looks to Dalton Schultz. A big target for him, a big body tight end. Now that he has gone, signed to the Houston Texans, a guy like Luke Schoenmacher can have to fill in. I'm not sure he can and fill the, fill the void that Schultz leaves. And I don't know if Prescott can build that trust back up with the new tight end that he had with Schultz. CeeDee Lamb's, Lamb's a great receiver, and they're going to have a great season. But that's going to be it for the offseason radio show. Um, it's for Connor, uh, Nate, and Charles. We're out. I almost called you.